Well, hi friends. This is Papa Dale, and behind me stands the very haunted Blue Mountain Schoolhouse. Hi friends, Papa Dale here. Before we move on down the road into some areas where I don't know if I'm going to be able to find dump stations or places to get water or any kind of services on the uh, west side of the Olympic Peninsula which is really remote. I'm stopping here at uh, back at Conestoga Park RV. You all remember this place. I had a couple of uh, clips about it when I was here a couple weeks ago. It's pretty full right now today. When I was here last time, it wasn't very full at all. Here's the rig. You hear Bandit in there barking at me because he wants out. And full service. So I'm pretty happy with this RV park. It's uh, the most affordable around. And in just a few minutes, Bandit and I are going to get in the tracker. And we got a couple of places to explore that we didn't see the last time we were here. So I'm hoping that you'll come along with us for the ride. Yabba dabba doo! <laughs> well, we're driving right off of Highway 101 here. And uh, we are going up the road, up Blue Mountain Road. Well, hi friends. This is Papa Dale, and behind me stands the very haunted Blue Mountain Schoolhouse. People who believe in that kind of thing have come here and held seances. People have reported that while they've been here in those situations, wild and crazy things happening, hearing the voices of children laughing but we're going to go and check out this haunted place and uh, come along with me and see how interesting it gets we're going to see just what firsthand just what this building is all about there's a placard on the front door We can see at the top, it says Blue Mountain District 41. Above that we have a bell tower where the teacher used to be able to ring the bell and let the kids know that recess was over. Let's see if the uh, door is open or not. Oh, it's open. And what do we have here? Right in the very beginning, we have... Oh! What was that? Oh, that was just the door slammed shut. Right in the very beginning, we have a, a hallway and we have a cabinet kind of secrets might be in here. Uh, no secrets. And what do we have on this side of this anteroom, this hallway of this haunted schoolhouse? Oh, looks like a place for 
kids to throw their lunch or to throw their galoshes and then through these doors or this door the kids would stream in look there looks like that goes up to the bell tower and down here at this end there is a chimney a flue for a chimney so right down in that area in the front there was probably a fireplace they used to keep the building warm and here we have examples of the seating that almost looks like a church pew on the wall in the back or in the front depending on how you want to describe it is a blackboard doesn't exactly feel like a blackboard it feels more like a just a piece of wood that's been painted can't really make much out here except for this one in fairly large letters it says muse of course a muse is a spirit being that interacts with human beings the people in the neighborhood are certain that it's haunted there are uh, definitely places in this world where evil spirits lurk this may be one let's go outside and look around the outside of the building interesting old building 1903 the man who told me about this schoolhouse told me about kids coming out here and having seances and uh, that it's a very scary place it looks like there's something down at this end of it looks like markers of some kind or monuments oh I know what this is you figured it out yet this is a cemetery This place over here, it looks like a family burial plot, fenced off. One large marker, and it looks like there are some flat laying headstones. Here we have W.A. Bauer, died in 1905. There's some very, very old markers here. I wonder if if the schoolhouse being right next to the cemetery like this is part of the reason why people believe that the schoolhouse is haunted on the other hand the stories of the singing children 
and the stories of things moving and hearing voices when people have seances would bespeak to the idea that it's not just a legend but that this Blue Mountain Cemetery and Blue Mountain Schoolhouse are truly haunted. And boy, here is a uh, here is an old marker here. And there's an inscription on here. And I can't make out what it says. It's uh, been been too weathered. Oh, look at all the little toys. Dylan James Graham. In loving memory of Dylan James Graham. Born in March, well, let me see if I can sit that where I can read it. Born March 23rd, 1992, age four days. Oh, that really tugs at my heart. My wife in 1983, I think it was. It's been so long ago, it's hard to remember. Gave birth to twin boys. They were, they were premature. They were born at about 26 weeks. And one died. And the other one lived for about a week in neonatal intensive care. Such a tiny little boy. Michael and Nicholas and uh, 26 weeks his head was the size of a baseball is all just a tiny little thing but he lived for about a week in intensive care the NICU and then he passed on it's very very sad it's like getting kicked in the gut by a mule. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to see him again one day. And here's the reason why. All right, I'm starting to choke up a bit here. So I'm going to have to move on. I've got to go. After seeing that little one's grave, that brought back memories that I really don't want to dwell on. That's uh, very, very sad. So we're going to go back to the car and we're going to uh, So we're going to go back to the car and we're going to move on. Papa Dale checking out. <laughs>